The pictures are inspired by the, my favorite paintings of all time, which are the three last bather compositions of Cezanne. The one that I know so well, like the palm of my hand, is in the National Gallery itself in London. The craziest of them is the, ones, the one in the Barnes Collection in Marion, Pennsylvania, outside Philadelphia. And the third one, the largest one, is in the Philadelphia Museum itself. So for a year and a half, I've been staring at reproductions of these things. I've seen them all in the flesh, and I never made any, an attempt to see them again. I've just been looking at books and pictures and mainly details of these pictures. I have them in all kinds of forms all over the studio. Here's the London one. I have larger reproductions of it, but I know it so well. I've had them up, I've had them, the pages open at other points. Then over here is the Philadelphia bathers. This is the one that seems the least finished. He seems to have worked on these three bathers. The third one is, is the one the bar, in the Barnes collection here. We'll come back to that because there are some important things that begin to happen for me. That's the craziest of them. He seems to have worked on these three great bather compositions for the last 11 or 12 years of his life, from 1895 to 1906 when he dropped dead, and they were found in his studio. He may never have finished them. He may never wish to have finished them. You have to realize one thing, he was a, he was a rich man, so he didn't have to sell them. He could just paint all day long, even though he was reclusive and hated by the art establishment in Paris and even in Aix. There are books here in my library which are all about that question of Cezanne, finished or unfinished. And it's fabulous because uh, part of that unfinished turned the other painters, the su succeeding painters on.